when dealing with people it is a matter of crucial to know how they are the way they are who they are you need to know with whom you get yourself in bed with that's right you need to know that what's up guys it's your girl marissa here i am coming back with another book review the controversial one this 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 i hope you guys get a closer look yeah the controversial one disclaimer i'm not american so yeah i can offer you my unbiased review second me saying something about this president is not because I hate him, it's not because I favor him, I fancy him or whatever, things like that. I am full aware of how most Americans hated him and you know, yeah, yes, I am aware of their hatred. You know, whenever I check my Twitter, my, Twitter, my, my feed is littered with people cursing this person, Mr. President, eh? Mr. President. So yes, let's talk about this book, a book review of this by this person. Yeah, Siege, Trump and the Fire. So imagine in the first two years of Trump administration in Washington DC. First thing first, before I read this book, I have read few books by this Mr. President, Donald Trump. Finally, I speak his name, but yeah. Donald Trump, I read, I have read few of his books and he's being honest with himself. He said he likes to have fun when it comes to do things. He likes to have fun. You know, if it's boring, he will just ignore it. He will just leave it or sell it to somebody people. I mean, pass it to some to somebody else. In every of his dealing, he likes to have fun and um, he's a bit, not all fashion I must say, but he knows what ways that work for that work for him like let's say um for example in trump building yeah in some building in u.s he doesn't like to use intercom he prefer to shout to scream because he finds that it's effective that way so yes you just do it that way and this book is meant to expose trump at work in politics the administrations of Trump on how Trump dealing with his people who are under him including those people who are who used to be his supporters unfortunately because the way Trump he is he is just so unfiltered he just speak his mind even his Twitter he doesn't shut up if he's angry he will just tweet about things he doesn't he doesn't even shut up so yes he just speak his mind he is that bold he talks without filter he he is not the type who is like being polite to maintain good image he doesn't like that he is the type of person yeah who who boldly lives the way he is he even famous with his saying just grab them by the pushy when it comes to dealing with women I, I i don't say i approve of his conduct i yeah i don't i don't approve of that but those women who were with him you know like having an affair with him so yeah they are there by themselves so it's their fault when when this president from saying grab them by the push so back to this book he is the way he is the white house the cine doesn't know that they both, both of these two bodies bodies no white house the senate they do not know how to deal with president trump because he doesn't play by the, by the rules he doesn't abide by the book he doesn't obey the book in fact not even the correct way of saying that is he he doesn't abide by the principle principles written in the book i don't know what book but yeah i think they do have their own books like the moment this person is elected to be a president then there are some traditions to go through it and donald trump didn't even go through the traditions you know why you know why you know why like i mentioned just now he likes to have fun so when it comes about tradition can you imagine what his expression was what was his excuse he said it's boring 
those people who are love to have fun they don't like things to be boring like me i don't like things to be to be boring like i find doing things repetitively is boring i like things to be unpredictable so mr donald trump is unpredictable in in his ways of doing things during his, this trump administration he even elected his daughter with his son-in-law to be his advisors that is the sort of unprecedented decisions and the white house and the senate taken a bag and hate him even more they just don't like him and to be honest like while i was reading this book i just found out that donald trump didn't even have speech writers none usually those people that write his speech will be um you, you know like first thing first will go from ivanka and Jared Kushner, Kushner, Kushner. I don't know how to pronounce his name. You tell me how to how to pronounce it if you have time. Yeah, just leave in the comments down below how to pronounce that correctly. That Kushner, Kushner. I don't know. So then after that, go to this person to revise, and then that person to revise, and then right, then came to President Trump. And guess what? When it comes to making speech, Trump, Mr. President, didn't even bother to bring his, his script of speech i mean his speech nope he just came with empty hand and just say things his mind he just speak his mind according to that occasions yeah i wish i can tell you more about this book but yes um one thing i can tell you for sure is that um this book is about every people i mean every politicians in his administration this disturbing him like try to trap him try to expose him and especially when he when he did certain things when he decide make decision for the wrong thing something like that and the way he deals with the officer and the, who are working under him and those and some people who resign because they cannot put up with Mr. Donald Trump's demands like for example when it comes to um dealing with the dealing with the lawyer he is famous with saying like this come with solutions not problems so yes i i perfectly understand why he demands the, for, from the lawyers to come with the solutions not with the problems because lawyers they only tell you problems and then after that they will they don't really offer you solutions some offer solutions but they need you to to consider the solutions but donald trump he prefers to come with the solutions in what way he should get out from the mess and things like that so it seems that those people who are working under him they only i mean tell him the problems but don't they don't really tell how to solve the problem so yes being an entrepreneur their mentality is more about thinking about the solution you know like problem problem solver they are they are think about okay they see the problems and then they will figure out the solutions from them so the people who are working under him they don't have that entrepreneurial mindset so they are just used to telling problems since they are they are used with being employed so they are also used with telling telling problems but when it comes to solving problems they leave their employer or their bosses to do that so yeah i think that explain why people they don't like working with donald trump because donald trump he ex he expected for people under him to have that entrepreneurial mindset which is to be a problem solver bring solutions not problems so i can relate why he keep changing with changing his lawyers and one of the favorite lawyers i think michael michael cohan like his favorite lawyer but um but then the moment the, mo the moment there there was raid in this lawyer's office and the rest of the other lawyers afraid to work under him not because of that raid but also because of donald trump's demand asking for impossible things he asked for solutions not problems so it's impossible for those people who are employee but not the entrepreneur so i well uh, if you are reading this from different mindset com contrary from mine you can see this 
you can see this book as the propaganda to hate Donald Trump for for what he did all the uh, you mean the way the way he did things the way he caused people to hate him including those people who were initially his supporters and then no longer his supporter because the way he made his decision he's that brush and things like that but to me if you ask me I I find this book to be amusing and I noticed that the writer of this book trying to to describe him being the backbencher in White House or being the silent obs- observer during this Trump administration he tried to write things about him as unbiased as possible to write things just the way they were or just the way they are without any embellishments against this president or in favor of this Donald Trump so um, even though I read nasty things about him all the bad things about him I I have respect for this president I, I'm not saying I approve of what he did or his decisions no but I respect him for his honesty he this Donald Mr. Donald Trump is such an open book, a hypocrite. He's just the way he is. So I respect those people who are honest, and I disrespect those people who are hypocrite. I find this book to be amusing and entertaining and know how Trump operates at work in politics yeah I I appreciate that that facts about him although most of the facts here they are displeasing and most Americans will find this to be revolting and to hate him even more if you so um to whom I should recommend this book for the first time in my life being a book reviewer I do not know how, to whom, to, to what group of people I should recommend this book. I, I seriously, I do not know, but I think if you are the type who, who is genuinely curious about how Donald Trump operates at work in politics, then this book will be for you. But before, before you read this book, try to have an open-minded and if you if in your mind you already hate him then i think you will read this book with bias yeah guys if you reach this far thank you for spending your time listening to my book review of this book thank you so much see you guys in my next video bye